Hey everyone, it's Owen here from OTEC, and today I'll be unboxing the retail unit Seasonic G Series G550 power supply. It's a semi modular power supply that's 80 plus gold rated from Seasonic, a reputable power supply brand that no doubt if you have been in a PC building uh, market for a long time, you would have heard as a good manufacturer. So, yeah, let's Let's go on and unbox this power supply since I will be using this for my Ryzen build. So here it is, 80 plus gold, all the features from Seasonic, Japanese uh, capacitors and stuff, high quality capacitors, and detachable modular cable and all the other good stuff. So this also uses a DC to DC converter design for the 5 volt and 3 volt, so that's better than the normal one. The, than the older one which I forgot the name of but anyways it has a 120 millimeter fan which is kind of small these days since some power supply has a 14 centimeter 140 millimeter fan but it's good enough I think it's it's pretty good so it also has a five year warranty which just shows how much Seasonic trusts uh, their craftsmanship so it shouldn't fail on you and it's a pretty good power supply to begin with so it should help you with overclocking and all the likes like that now on the side you can see the specification of the power supply itself it can supply 540 watt just on the 12 volt rail so that's pretty good it's pretty much all the power supply can handle all on the 12 volt although if you load the other ones pretty high then it won't be 540 so yeah i guess uh there's nothing else on the box so let's just take a look inside since this is this is the retail model this is actually a pretty heavy box compared to the uh, last Seasonic I unboxed, which was a an OEM model. So that one was uh, much more simpler in design of the box and also in terms of accessories. You see now, this one has a high quality Seasonic inner box, which has a blue Seasonic logo printed on it, which looks real nice in my opinion and you can really smell the new component smell right as I opened it so yeah yeah that smells really good <laughs> might be weird to some people but I like the smell of new parts so here's the user manual so yeah you might need that later so don't throw it away there's some foam protecting the power supply itself and then there is a baggie of modular cables yeah so oh and they also include a lot of extras in the retail model so that's interesting yeah, that, that'll be handy a lot of i guess those are yeah those are velcro cable management dupe the dupe thing and also a lot of zip ties it's pretty interesting since most power supply don't only include like one or three zip ties which isn't really helpful especially if you mess up and you need to cut it open again <laughs> it's gonna it's just gonna become a pain so yeah this is the power supply itself it actually looks pretty nice it's pretty simple like most power supplies just black and oh okay it has the blue logo so i guess It'll fit really well in blue team builds, so yeah, and Seasonic G Series logo on this side, and the 12 centimeter fan over here, and yeah, has a five five year warranty, so that's pretty good. And on the back, there's the typical Seasonic badge, which is, which isn't upside down, so that's a good thing. If you install the power supply fan face down. Like you should on most setups then it shouldn't be upside down and it looks pretty nice too again it'll look really nice in a black and blue theme build but anyways with cases with a lot of uh, power supply covers these days it doesn't really matter power supply's job is just to deliver good voltage uh, not being fair not it's not that's job to be fancy so yeah anyways seems like it's hard to open these cable ties just gonna show you the cables that's directly attached it's basically just the 24 pin which you need to operate your PC and also a 4 plus 4 EPS connector and nothing else so basically it's really only the only things that you need 
Well, the rest of the cables are over here in a modular cable bag. It also has the power connector, which the OEM version is going to include. And also a lot of... Yeah, I showed this really nice. They, they did black cables. If only they made these black, then it would be even nicer. And it would tie in the whole uh, stout look. But these are sadly colored uh, cables. Yeah, that, that kind of stuff. So here it is. You want to learn cables? I guess I'm just gonna rip it open and show you guys. So yeah, here it is. Uh, there's a SATA chain with four of those on the cable, and then there's the Molex chain with four of those on, connected on the cable. And then there is a Oh, 6 plus 2 pin PCIe connector for your GPU and an FDD to Molex adapter. Now I really like this since you know it's better than connecting this up to the power supply straight on like on most uh, non-modular power supply and also connecting it to the Molex chain which just really sucks and causes more cable clutter since you know you don't really use an FDD drive anymore these days so here it is, another side of chain this time. This time it's only two of them, so that's good for smaller builds. And also if you don't, don't use too much SATA um, peripherals. And here it is, another 6 plus 2 pin for the GPU. So you can run uh, like two RX 480s or something with this. Or like two GTX 1080s, I guess. Borderline adequate, I don't think that's safe. Probably just best to stick with single GPU. And this is another Molex chain, but the same is just uh, two in the, on the cable. So, yeah, that's basically it. Let's just take a look at the modular modular cable board, and you can see that you can stick both PCIe connectors together, so you can use both, no problems there. And you can pretty much use all of the peripheral connectors too. So, yeah, that's hmm, yeah, that's pretty good. You could mo you could use most of the cables basically. Well, no, actually, all of them at once. So, yeah, that's that's really good. So, I guess this is it for this unboxing. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you do, and click subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.